Hello my friends, welcome to part three of a series of videos I'm doing on the comedic genius that is Mike Judge. A little backstory, when I first started this YouTube channel, I knew that I wanted to do this series. Mike Judge is a personal favorite of mine and I wanted to kind of spread that message further. The episode I was most intrigued about doing was this one right here, Idiocracy. on the violence channel and all new how my balls. Idiocracy has sort of transcended itself. More people know what idiocracy means as like an idea than they do an actual movie. So upon revisiting it, I just kind of assumed that, you know, it would be a great solid flick with a few flaws here and there, but ultimately I would walk away happy. And much to my surprise, what I actually discovered, hot take here, is that this movie is perfect. Where's your tattoo? Why come you don't have a tattoo? Oh my god. You're not an cannibal, are you? Welcome to Costco. I love you. I would now like to pitch to you that Idiocracy is Mike Judge's magnum opus. This is his best work. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck all y'all! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got hit in a ball. The greatest minds and resources were focused on conquering hair loss and prolonging erections. Idiocracy stars Luke Wilson as a literal average Joe. Extremely average in every category. R remarkable, truly. He finds himself the test subject of a hibernation project. It hadn't even been a year, and the entire project was simply forgotten. Waking up hundreds of years later in a dystopian future where humans have evolved into mouth-breathing idiots. And that's all it was. For 90 minutes. Joe has become the smartest man on Earth. Which it turns out is more of a burden than an advantage. It says on your chart that you're fucked up. Uh, you talk like a fag, and your shit's all retarded. As Joe finally gave up on logic and reason, and simply told the cabinet that he could talk to plants. When I make the outlandish statement that Idiocracy is a perfect movie, what I truly mean by that is that it executes perfectly exactly what it sets out to do. Make a point, and be hilarious. And trust me, we will get to the former soon enough. But for now, let's just focus on exactly how hilariously funny this movie truly is. Joe used his superior intelligence to come up with the best escape plan he could think of. Hi, excuse me. Um, I'm actually supposed to be getting out of prison today, sir. You're in the wrong line, dumbass. Over there. So you think you can escape again? No. They pretty much fixed that. How? Oh. They chained me to a big rock. Idiocracy is crawling with sight gags. So many, in fact, that I often had to pause the movie just to fully appreciate them. This movie is like a shotgun blast of comedy. Just every second they are trying to hammer in a joke at you. It's so fucking good. Like, oh, it's so good I cussed. While I'm giving the movie so much praise, I might as well give a shout out to the cast. Everybody does a phenomenal job. Luke Wilson, Maya Rudolph, Dax Shepard, Terry Crews, just, just everybody is great. The script is perfect, my judge directing, phenomenal. It's perfect. Do you, do you get it, by the way? That's the point I'm making. It's perfect. If you put water on plants, they grow. Oh, well, I've never seen no plants grow out of no toilet. Hey, that's good. You sure you ain't the smartest guy in the world? Yeah. Sorry, still <laughs> if you have followed this series of videos up until this point, you know that Mike Judge is no stranger to satire. Now, while the movie centers around Joe, it has a far bigger point to make. That point being that we as society are getting dumber and... Let the shopping, the saving, the saving and the shoving begin. Watch out, come on, come on, come on! Dumb, angry mobs took to the streets, rioting and looting, and screaming for Joe's head. Get up in their face! Talk your shit! Let your nuts drag, nigga! But the English language had deteriorated into a hybrid of hillbilly, valley girl, inner city slang, and various crumbs. Oh, I, I like money. Huh. 
I have not, I have not, I have not intentionally visited schools that are underperforming. And that's the Secretary of Education. It's kind of stupid. Jesus Christ. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. You running for president. What do you think if oh, you would God. run for president? Would you, uh, seriously, would you run? I would, I'm seriously considering it, yes. Well, you really? Yeah. Of America. Yeah. that I will be president for all Americans. You know what, I take it all back. Maybe this movie isn't a comedy. I genuinely did try to find problems with this movie. I looked for faults. The problem is, is that there really aren't any. Any faults that you could find are all perfectly justified by the script, the characters, just everything. Like a, a big example, throughout the entire movie, Joe, for whatever reason, puts a lot of trust into the character of Frito. Okay, number one, your honor. Just look at him. <laughs> he talks like a fire too. <laughs> no, no, they got a time machine. They do? And you're just like, why? Like, come on, man, that guy's such an idiot. So act smart. Smart like you? Oh, I gotta go to the time machine. I wanna go home. I don't talk like that. I don't talk like that. Shit, I thought there was two of you. And you're like, haha, I got you, movie. You, you screwed up. But then this happens. You thought you could really travel through time, huh? Yeah, I guess I did. Yeah. You're the smartest guy in the world. You're pretty dumb sometimes. The only other possible thing worth bringing up is the idea that this movie just isn't funny. And to that, I completely disagree. And I would say that, you know, not everyone likes Blazing Saddles. Not everyone likes Seinfeld. Not everyone likes Monty Python. Not everyone likes this or that or whatever. But when you get it, you just get it. And idiocracy gets it. And it's perfect. And there was a time in this country, a long time ago, when reading wasn't just for fags, and neither was writing. People wrote books and movies, movies that had stories, so you care whose ass it was and why it was farting, and I believe that time can come again. If anything, this movie is funnier now, because, like, we're a little past when it was made which means that we are actually getting dumber, which means that in the movie, people are getting dumber, which means the point is driven home further, which means that it's even more funny because we're dumber and they're dumber and we're all just dumb. I think that works. Overwhelming praise from me. Absolutely go see it. Mike Judge, you're great. I would like to take this moment to announce that I do have one last episode to do on Mike Judge, but that one's gonna, it's gonna kinda take a minute and if you know anything about Mike Judge, you probably can guess what it is. It's a really long project, one that, like, you, you know, a series, perhaps, that lasted a really long time. But in the meantime, I will begin working on a new series that I would like to announce right now. The Curious Case of Kevin Smith. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs>